This is by far the best street tier 2 car in the game which you can use on grand races and it's actually really good looking. It's a really famous car and so many people like it is the Audi RS6 Avant and you can see I'm first in this race. So today we're going to be talking about it and don't forget to like and subscribe and let's go on with this video. So you've maybe just bought the game and really want some new cars but don't have quite the budget for it but you want something you can race and you can drive it a little at the start of the game and it's really understandable but if you're going for a street tier 2 car I would really really suggest this Audi RS6 or even the Yanomize edition but this is cheaper and you can modify it with a body kit which really handles better and it gives you a slight advantage which we're going to be talking about later in the video so yeah if you really want a car you're at the start of the game as I said earlier you need to buy this car and because of the body kit it's really really nice so because of the good looking and the good driving so many people have got it and it's a car that pro use pros use in a grand race in the summits and yeah for maybe it looks heavy and it feels a bit heavy with pro settings it can be really nice and you can get really good placements on grand races and my last two grand races that i played i won which have been with the Audi RS6 included in the formation of the cars so that is a bonus to why I'm suggesting the Audi RS6 to you and to all new players in the Crew Motorfest so now we're going to be talking about the body kit and why I said it gives you a slight advantage in game and why it's better if you put it in a car like this and I've said that you have you, you do not have but I would suggest you get this instead of the Yanomize edition and it's for the body kit and we're gonna be talking about it right now so the body kit makes a change in so many cars in the grand races and in the summits which can turn better can handle better and you can drive much better with the body kit so if you're looking for placements and you want more boxing grand races you want to win them you want more good placements in the grand races you should put body kits in your cars and this rs6 really looks good with the body kit and handles really well so i have noticed the difference between this and the anonymized edition when i've used both and the body kit really makes a difference so don't hesitate buy this instead of the anonymized first then you can put a body kit on this and you can make money really fast and you can even try the money guide that is in my youtube channel to buy even more but we're talking about the rs6 and it is an all-rounder car it is a really nice one and i've still not tested the ford mustang dark horse but there's going to be a video on it tomorrow i still haven't got it and I hope it competes with this thing because I want new cars which can compete in the grand races not just one matter car that everyone uses I want much more to try and really see what they're all about so this is why the body kit helps the car and why you should get this instead of the anonymized edition but if you really like the other RS6 you can still get it it's no problem it can handle just as good but this is a tiny bit better which can benefit you in a lot of ways so there isn't much more to say about this car It's an all-rounder good car and you can use it especially for beginners it's really really easy to handle and you can get great placements on grand races as you can see right here I'm third right now I finished first in the last grand race and it's really nice for beginners even for starters and even for pro players so if you're a pro, pro player i don't know why you're listening to this it's just me yapping about the rs6 but anyway this is all i have to say there's nothing a bit more for the body kit and now we're going to be talking about this competing to other cars so the rs6 is competing against the porsche Tycon, the Lamborghini Huracan LP610 and maybe some other cars but compared to those you can see the difference and the speed is I think a bit more than the other two and I've seen in the one-on-ones at the end of the races this beats the Huracan at least 
it does with my races and it's really no debate about this on the Huracan. The Huracan was really the meta car for quite some time and I used it up until two weeks ago when I switched to the RS6 but this beats the Lamborghini Huracan. But if you're a starter I would maybe recommend the Tycon because it unlocks the playlist and it's still really nice for grand races. I had a friend who joined the crew, the crew motor fest and at the first day he got the Tycon because of the playlist and he won their, his first two races without any experience on the grand races. So based on that I would also suggest the Porsche Tycon for you and to unlock the playlist which can unlock you the Lotus Evaya and it is a great first hypercar. I used it on my first week of the Crew Motor Fest to complete feats, to complete uh, grand races and just to use for beginners. So if you got the game right now I would suggest the Tycon over this just because it unlocks the playlist and you can get the hypercar for free. So yeah, this RS6 competing to other cars, there's no debate. It is better, it is the meta. Maybe competing to this Porsche right here. I haven't tested the, this Porsche, I don't know why. I just don't like, really like the look of it when driving. It's maybe just because of this spec that this guy has, but I haven't tried it. I will buy it and really test this thing out against the RS6. But till now, the RS6 is the best three tier two car for me. And I would suggest you buy it right now. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye bye.